Ugh, Prosser again. As soon as I see Prosser's name in an article, I just stop reading. John Prosser is just guessing. It's so easy to guess this, especially after the iMac came in colors. Duh. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Uh, except for the part where I am also the guy that guessed that colors were coming to iMac. So, you know, pretty good guesses. This is the only tech news show on the internet that gives you tech news and exclusive leaks. So hit subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next episode. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, FPT. The show that gives you all the latest tech news, one geek that is me, to another that is you. Uh, lots to cover in today's episode. So I guess you could, this is not a normal one. You could consider this uh, an FPT special report. All right, so real quick, before we jump into the exclusive MacBook leaks, how about some smaller leaks like it like if the macbook leaks are big boy leaks these are like little tiny baby leaks so about imac and about ipad pro i'm told that apple has officially sent out units to reviewers the press you know usual suspects and according to quite a few sources the embargo dates are a little different for both for instance that new m1 24 inch imac embargo lifts on tuesday May 18th at 9 o'clock in the morning Eastern Standard Time. So do the math and figure out what that is for your time zone. And I know there's probably a lot of you out there right now who have never heard that word before, embargo. But effectively, it's just a fancy word for their, your favorite YouTubers, reviewers, news websites. Uh, they got the units early. Apple gave it to them early. And they're not allowed to talk about those things until a certain time. So again, for that new iMac, Tuesday, May 18th at 9 a.m. EST, that uh, pretty much on the dot is when you'll start to see brand new videos from your favorite YouTubers pop up in your subscription feed, as well as news coverage, reviews, and stuff on your favorite media websites. But what about that M1 iPad Pro, though? Embargo for the iPad Pro lifts the next day. So Wednesday, May 19th, and that'll be at the same time, 9 o'clock. EST. So, you know, if you're really excited about that 24 inch iMac in colors or the iPad Pro or both, and you've been wondering, huh, wonder when I'll start to see hands on videos with those things. There you go. Now you know, but like, do not tell anyone that I told you. Hey, if you're a fan of this show, then you know that I talk about WeVPN a lot. It's because I really, really believe in what they're doing and because they are uh, paying me. That is also a reason, but for real, do you know how many offers I get from VPN companies all over the place? And I turned them down because I want to be able to promote only one VPN to you guys. And I want it to be the one that I trust. WeVPN is made by veterans in this space, a group of guys that came from those other companies to start their own. A VPN that's fast and reliable, one that protects you and your data without storing any logs, one that keeps you from being tracked or traced, and one that unlocks content from your favorite streaming services. So if you love this show and you watch it every day, go give them a try and let me know what you think. It's just $2.69 a month right now. That's 73% off. And if you use the promo code FPT at checkout, you'll get an additional 10% off just for watching this show. Sure, there are other VPNs out there, but only WeVPN is a longtime supporter of this show. So go ahead, click that link down in the description to get started with WeVPN today. Okay, so welcome back. <laughs> Now that we covered the Bebe leak, now let's talk about that big boy leak. So in the last episode of Bebe Day, we talked about information that I had received from a source about colors coming to the MacBook Air. The source referenced a blue MacBook that they saw in person. And you know, we, we talked about that on that episode, but you know me, I wanted to see it. So over the weekend, I was hard at work. I've been chatting with a bunch of different sources to gather all the information that I could. And we may or may not have gotten images of a new colorful MacBook. And I don't know, just like I usually do when I may or may not get my hands on some images of a product, I may or may not have given those images to uh, some sort of a 3D render artist of sorts to go ahead and create some renders for you. That way we can protect the source and still show you a future product. Everyone wins. And here is what we saw.
Oh, sweet mama. <laughs> I know, I know it looks so fucking good, doesn't it? Now listen, as is with every episode of this show, I like to tell you a little bit about how things work behind the scenes. I want to give you an idea of what we were working with here. This is what one of the current MacBook Airs looks like torn down piece by piece. See that? <laughs> yep, that's pretty much what we had to work with, just in aluminum enclosure pieces. Also, a little bit of behind the scenes information. Uh, a lot of the times, more times than you realize, the employees don't actually know the final name of the product that they're working on. Like, yeah, sometimes it's clearly a MacBook Air. Like you've seen how many MacBook Airs they've been making the same design for who knows how long. You see it, you know you're working on a MacBook Air. But when the design changes to something that maybe you're not as familiar with, yes, it's clearly a MacBook, but maybe they don't know which one it is. In this case, yeah, the sources as well as myself, we were just assuming that we're looking at the next MacBook Air because the IO on this machine, the images that we have, they do not match the leaked MacBook Pro schematics that are out there in the ether. So it's safe to say that what we're looking at right here is a MacBook Air, not to mention, I mean, look at this thing. It's clearly a MacBook Air. And since we had just like the aluminum enclosure, we had to put stuff together like a puzzle. Like some of this stuff we did have to guess on. We had a pretty good look at the bottom of the unit but the display here, we don't know exactly what that's going to look like. So full disclosure, that part we are guessing on to sort of put the whole puzzle together to show you something. What we do know as far as bezels is they're white. That might, <laughs> that might be bad news for a lot of you. I know I'm not a huge fan of that, but it is what it is. The bezels are white. Also the keys on the keyboard, they're white as well. But the sizes of the bezel, that's what we had to guess on. So when you get the final product, when we see the real deal, uh, the bezels may be thinner than this. They may also be thicker than this. My guess is we're pretty close. Now the source gave me images of the blue version, which is, that's all I cared about. I just wanted to see for myself a blue MacBook and I saw it and that's, that's all that matters to me, that is fine. But they had also claimed that they got to see the green one in person, they got to see this, which I, I'm a fan of this too. According to them, the colors featured on the new MacBook Air are very close, if not identical to the shades that you see on the stands for the new 24 inch IMAX. As you can see, this whole thing is like crazy, crazy thin. Uh, as far as I know, two USB-C ports, one on either side, but that's kind of it in terms of IO. From the images that we had, especially from the angles that we had, uh, we were unable to see if MagSafe is coming back to MacBook Air. So we just didn't include it. I'm not saying that it's not gonna be there, but I couldn't see it from what we saw. They've also removed the four rubber feet that is typically on the bottom of MacBook Air. And instead there are just two vertical strips closer to the sides. The keyboard also seems to be changed a bit. Uh, the function keys here on the top now seem to be full sized instead of like the little ones that we've had, moving the whole keyboard down. And in turn, it sort of makes the trackpad seem a little bit smaller than before. More notably though, and you've probably seen it at this point, you probably noticed. According to sources and according to the images that I personally saw, the MacBook Air is no longer tapered like it has been since, well, always. We're not seeing that same wedged design. Now, it's completely flat. I mean, it is so flat and so thin that I don't even know what happens next. Like for the next redesign, whenever that happens, what do they even do? Any thinner than this, I feel would be literally too thin. Not to mention this as it is right now, barely fits the USB-C port. Like at what point or is it too much? How thin is too thin. Now, just as it was when I leaked the final design for AirTags last year, uh, it might be a little bit before we get this final product and actually get this design confirmed from Apple. I'm told that if we see this at all this year, if it comes at all, it won't come until the end of the year. All I know is it is looking like I'm gonna have to buy myself a fucking MacBook Air. I mean, look at this. How could you not want it? And my boy Ian did such an amazing job with these. Renders by Ian. 
The person that did all of these renders for me is super insanely talented. This is the second time I've worked with him and I highly recommend that you follow him on Twitter. I'll leave a link down below in the description. He's always posting new stuff over there, posting a lot of his work on Twitter. Okay, so that was kind of a lot. I know I packed a lot into this episode, but you know how this works. I get the information, I give you the information, and then you take it from there. Enjoy, Internet. It's a really exciting time for the Mac. Oh,